Our top story today, the German parliament has today voted to join the international coalition fighting ISIL. The country will send 1,200 soldiers in a non-combat role, reconnaissance aircraft and a warship to the Middle East. Here's Paul Brennan. The vote in Germany's lower house was overwhelming. A margin of 445 in favour to 146 against. And it reflects a wider mood, broadly supportive of military action. But nonetheless, German lawmakers faced emotive questions and vehement debate. You can be sure that the bombs of the last three weeks alone in Syria have killed more civilians than the barbaric attacks in Paris. And the mothers of Raqqa are also crying for their children. A war of bombs is also terror. And do those countries leading the war really want to get into a competition with ISIL about who understands more about murder? Those who do this have already lost. Es braucht schon verdammt gute Argumente. Taking into account ISIL's disrespect for people and their brutality, there needs to be a damned good argument to vote no, to vote in favor of continuing to do nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, there are no good arguments against taking action. It is time to act, above all, for the victims who we want to protect. A public opinion poll on Friday found 58% of Germans in favor of action, even though the same poll found 63% believe the risk of an ISIL attack on German soil will increase as a result. But the Berlin government's voters stopped short of authorizing direct airstrikes inside Syria. Instead, it is sending six tornado reconnaissance jets, together with refueling aircraft, up to 1,200 personnel, and a German naval frigate, which will provide protection to the French aircraft carrier Charles de Gaulle, already operating in the eastern Mediterranean. The French president, François Hollande, is making a surprise visit to the Charles de Gaulle on Friday. A statement from the Elysee Palace said the president will meet pilots and support crews who've been launching airstrikes against ISIL targets since their deployment to the region last month. France has also revealed that its aircraft have been conducting reconnaissance and intelligence flights over parts of Libya, which are controlled by ISIL affiliates. The coalition against ISIL is growing and widening by the day. Paul Brennan, Al Jazeera. I'm the leading state sponsor of terrorism.